From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon and happy Thursday and happy Halloween. The last day of October is bringing us some way above average temperatures, well warm and sunny. So those conditions will continue a little bit into the weekend, but we may see a pattern change happen Sunday into the beginning of the next work week. Right now over Beaver Stadium, just a layer of high clouds right now. Beautiful out there right now, 72. We're tapping out, or not tapping out, but we're still warming up here in State College at Beaver Stadium. Dry, though, is the main story this week. 54 uh, dew point right now, so it's been dry at the beginning half of the week. We may see a little bit of rain heading into a cold front that's coming through late tonight into the early tomorrow morning. But our record-breaking temperatures is what our main story is for today's Halloween. We are near record today, uh, record being 81 in State College. We are tapping near the 80-degree mark, so we'll see if we break that today. But the pattern change is coming for the weekend. Uh, front's going to move through, and we will see some changes even on Sunday into the next week. But our game day for football on Saturday as we play Ohio State, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be really nice and should be enjoyable to be out and about that day as well. As I said, we are record near record breaking. 81 is the record here in State College, and we're forecasting a high of 80. You can see that's almost 25 degrees above average. We should be near the in the mid 50s for this time of year, so well above average at that. And most of us warming up across the state uh, in the upper 60s to even low 70s, 73 in Erie and in Pittsburgh, 72 in State College. Williamsport, however, 57, a little cooler. I think that's thanks to some clouds that the satellite is not entirely picking up in the Williamsport area. But for the most part, we are seeing some dry, dry skies, dry and cloudless skies at that throughout the, the Commonwealth today. This is a head or this is head of our front that's going to move through later tonight and those clear skies are thanks to the high pressure situated here. This front will move through in our neck of the woods later tonight into early tomorrow morning. The day though we're tapping out near 80 degrees throughout the afternoon those partly cloudy skies will stay in effect. Even through the night we won't see much of a drop off of temperatures. We're still way above average even down into near the midnight hour. Clouds do start to build as that front approaches though and some rain showers are possible throughout overnight tonight. So here's the differences in air masses here. This is the low pressure, this is high pressure. That high pressure is going to move out. This low, uh, weak front will move through but after that high pressure is circulating over us and we will see beautiful conditions ahead of on Saturday and even some of Sunday. But you can see our next system for the next work week begins to make its way into our neck of the woods on Monday and Tuesday. So this is the shower activity tonight. I think this model is uh, overdoing it a little bit. I don't think we're going to get quite as much precipitation as it's predicting here. But by uh, early tomorrow morning, we'll see those showers move through with that front as it moves through. And you might see a little more showers to the northwest in the Erie area off the lakeshore there. Again, I still think this model is overdoing a lot of the shower activity. So once that front passes through, we'll see some clear skies again on Saturday and a little bit on Sunday. But those clouds will start to build in Sunday afternoon as the warm front off of this low over here in the Midwest begins to move into our region and those showers will move in to our neck of the woods on Sunday night. Um, Halloween, it's Halloween, happy Halloween. We are well above average, well warm, and we may even see a couple showers later tonight, but mostly for trick-or-treaters out there, it'll be, won't need the jacket, you can break the shorts out, and it should be a really nice night to get out and grab some candy. For the Penn State, Ohio State game, it's gonna cool down a little bit. We'll be back into uh, the near average temperatures, 59 by the fourth quarter as it's a noon kickoff game. Uh, in the afternoon. So again, seasonable, still a little above average, however. So another day to be out and about, sunny skies throughout the entire day. So here in the seven day, warm temperatures will drop back down into the weekend. And then this is the pattern change that I'm predicting here for next week that rain shower chances will continue. But notice the temperature trend we're back on that temperature roller coaster. We'll be back up into near the 70 degree mark again, which is going to be above average. And take a look at these lows as well, at least on Friday into and Saturday and Saturday into Sunday, teetering near the freeze and the frost points uh, 
uh, on those nights. And so we'll have to see if the clouds and winds will give way for the potential of that. Otherwise, I think the seven day looks really nice as we head into the weekend and we'll get some much needed rain heading into next week. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Austin Long. Have a great afternoon and a happy Halloween.